and welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending August 30th, 2019. Um, Kyoto Animation has reopened its official online store, which had been suspended in the wake of last month's Deadly Studio Fire. The KyoAni shop sells good f goods from the studio's many productions, including merchandise of all kinds, as well as DVDs and Blu-rays. The reopening of the shop creates another way for fans to contribute financially to the studio, as well as getting more merch to show their love for their favorite series, which is pretty darn cool. There's also a separate KyoAni Shop International website, currently shipping to the U.S. only, though the selection there is very limited compared to the main Japanese shop. So, FYI, if you want to support KyoAni, that's not a bad place to go. Um, it's also a nice place to go to not only do that, but also grow your collection. So, check it out if you're interested. Um, go to the Kyoto Animation online store. Also, it was announced this week that the previously planned Enjoy the World of Kyo Annie and Do or Do event will be held as a memorial service for the victims of July's tragic fire. The event, which will be held on November 3rd and 4th, is typically held every two years as a celebration of Kyoto Animation's works. The studio suspended ticket sales and canceled the planned stage events earlier in the month and have officially converted the event into a memorial service open to the general public. So that is a thing, and we are uh, our, our hearts obviously go out to all of those involved. Uh, speaking of, Russian-American singer-songwriter Elizaveta Kripunova, apologies for probably massacring that pronunciation, has written an original song in response to the tragedy at Kyoani. The song is entitled Meet Again and is available on iTunes and Bandcamp. All proceeds from its sales will go directly to the studio's recovery fund. The creator said in an interview, quote, I wrote this song as a way to heal myself, even though I was just a bystander of this tragedy. I hope it may serve as a source of healing to others affected by it, end quote. Moving along to um, slightly happier news, but still kind of controversial, this week's installment in the saga of pirated manga shifts the focus to the international market. On Takahashi, CEO of the legal and authorized doujinshi localization service Irodori Comics, created a long and detailed Twitter thread criticizing the manga reader app Manga Rock. The app, which is available through both the Apple App Store and Google Play, hosts illegal scans of many manga series, and he even has its own subscription service. Takahashi argued that because of this, many users may not realize that what they're using is actually illegal. The Japanese Twitter thread includes steps manga artists can take to see if their works are on Manga Rock, and also encourages readers to call out Apple and Google for providing the app. Takahashi also wrote up an English summary of the points in the thread, and included a list of resources where manga can be read legally, which is not a bad thing. The original Japanese thread, as well as a link to the English version, can be found on Takahashi's Twitter, at OnTakahashi. Seems like we got a new uh, manga translation or anime translation thing every week, but continues, uh, just uh, always continues. Anyway, Japan has officially submitted Weathering With You for Academy Award consideration. The film is now a candidate for the Best International Feature Film category and is the first anime to be submitted for Oscar consideration since Princess Mononoke back in 1998. Huge congratulations to creator Makoto Shinkai, as well as everyone who worked on the movie, for this exciting accomplishment, and good luck to Weathering With You when it goes for consideration. Uh, to be clear, this is the Japanese, like, international movie. They're not saying this is the best anime. There's, this is the Japanese, you know, consideration for the Oscar. Pretty, pretty cool. If you've been needing a fix of pure fluffy cuteness, meanwhile, look no further. Sanrio announced at its 2019 Expo event this week that its Mucle Dreamy character will be getting a television anime next year. The anime will be directed by Chiaki Kon with production by Studio JC Staff. A manga adaptation will also begin in January and will run in two of Kodansha's magazines. The story centers around a sentient purple stuffed kitten Mew, who has the power to enter dreams, that's horrifying, and the girl it befriends upon falling to Earth. It's Sanrio, so it'll be adorable and wonderful and all that kind of stuff. And that does look pretty adorable, let's, let's be honest. 
Tight Moon, known of course for the creation of Fate Stay Night and other unbelievably popular visual novels, announced on Friday that it has established a brand new game studio. According to the director of the new studio, Type Moon Studio BB, or Double B maybe, will focus on developing small-scale 2D games and create larger-scale 3D games in collaboration with other companies. The new director, Kazuya Nina, I'm sorry, Kazuya Nino, was previously a developer at Square Enix and produced the PSP game Fate Extra, a spin-off of Type Moon's Fate franchise, which I've heard is fairly popular. Studio BB is currently looking for art designers, game designers, programmers, and game managers. So if any of you are looking to get into the video game industry and speak enough Japanese to do that, this could be your chance. Hey, why not? Now, this week's final story might be the closest you can get to having your own anime made. Pre-orders open this week for a robotic vacuum modeled after one of the tanks from the Girls und Panzer franchise. The vacuum comes complete with 45 voice recordings from voice actress Mai Fujigami, who, the voice of main character Miho, who pilots this featured tank. The limited edition vacuum also features compatibility with smartphone apps, as well as the Google Assistant and Amazon's Alexa. So yes, you can tell Alexa to turn on your vacuum who will then yell, Panzer IV! We live in amazing times. <laughs>